Raiden was developed by Seibu Kaihatsu in 1990 and distributed in Japan by Tecmo and various other companies around the world. The game takes place in 2090 over 8 vertical scrolling stages as you blast your way through hordes of alien invaders. Part of wise there's not much choice, only a laser and a standard blaster. Collecting the blue or red power squares will increase the power of each weapon by one stage. Don't die though, otherwise it's back down to stage 1 of your weapon of choice. There's also a smart bomb that can take out pretty much all enemies apart from the bosses. These days Raiden is a little slow and bland, but it still has a special place in many gamers hearts. This was the ultimate way to play Raiden outside of the arcade until the PlayStation arrived, and in my opinion, it's still the ultimate way thanks to that excellent arranged soundtrack. It seems that FM Towns games would quite often feature arranged soundtracks that would not disappoint. Game wise this is very close to the original arcade in terms of looks and playability, however when you die in this version, you are sent slightly back in the stage, unlike the arcade version, which just continues directly from where you died. There are a few bonus features in this FM Towns release, such as the option for rapid fire and two competition modes, which are kind of like a score attack.
probably the only Japanese title to ever appear on the Jaguar, although it was programmed by Westerners, and it's not what the Jag fans said it was. Many if not all Jag fans and magazines claimed that this port of Raiden to be arcade perfect, but anyone with eyes can see that it's not. The backgrounds have been redrawn with a bad choice of colours that clash with the enemies, causing them to blend in with the backgrounds in some areas. Not only that, the whole experience plays quite sluggish. This is definitely not a patch on the FM Towns version or even some of the other console versions. Still, it's not a total disaster. The game does play like Raiden, just a cheaper version of it. Here we go with the PC MS-DOS port, as you can see it's based upon the Jaguar version, not the arcade game. Unfortunately I couldn't get the audio to work, so I've dubbed over some music from the FM Tams version. You've probably noticed that I'm not very good at this version either. That's thanks to having to play using the keyboard.
The Mega Drive 4 was handled by Micronet, who let's be honest, have never made anything of any real quality. Raiden is yet another victim of Micronet. While it's not a complete loss, it could have been so much better. The colours used are bland, the audio is weak and the game has that annoying feature of being sent back a little every time you are killed. Still, despite the complaints, this is a pretty reasonable port when it comes to keeping the detail from the arcade game. Micronet sure did a better job than the guys behind the Jaguar version. Probably the easiest and most definitely the worst port of Raiden to be released to date. This Super Famicom port was handled by Micronix, who if you didn't know, were also behind the awful Super Famicom shooters, Acrobat Mission and Speedy Gun Powered, as well as many other poor games. This Super Famicom version of Raiden is very sluggish to play, sounds awful, especially the laser weapon sound effect, and is missing a lot of animation details. Best to avoid this part at all costs.
With a much better use of colour than the Mega Drive port, this PC Engine version certainly looks good, but is notorious for its difficulty. Enemies come from all over the place at great speed making it really tough to avoid them. To make matters worse, this version has the horrible rule of sending you back down the stage once you die. This basically means you need to take out the bosses without getting hit once, otherwise you'll have to start all over again. Now while this Android version by .emu is basically emulation, and we don't normally cover emulation on Battle of the Ports, I just had to show it, so you can see what a cool collection this is. Not only do you get Raiden, but also 3 follow ups, all beautifully animated with slick controls, screen options and game options. That's 4 excellent Raiden games for pennies, buy it now if you can. The Lynx version was not officially released until 1997, in very small quantities. It's decent for the portable system and requires that you turn the system on its end, so you get a similar vertical layout to the arcade game. Strangely, the main fighter is blue in this version instead of red.
one of the very first games to be released on the PlayStation. This is actually Raiden 1 and 2 and in fact it's the only console which Raiden 2 ever appeared on. Basically what we have is a very detailed remake of the original arcade game. Many people claim this to be the best and ultimate version of Raiden available. Personally, I do think it is really really good and it pretty much is arcade perfect unless you're going to be really picky. But for me the FM Towns version just slightly picks it at the post due to the amazing soundtrack. But nonetheless, this version is much easier to find than the FM Towns version, a lot cheaper and is available in the West as well. An excellent port of Raiden and definitely worth picking up.